everybody. Um, my name is Tavia Nyongo, and I'm a writer and teacher. I'm very honored to be here with Occupy Museums, and especially uh, to appear right after Black Women Artists for Black Lives Matter. Um, I'm encouraged that so many of us are willing uh, to spend the day beginning to resist fascism and white supremacy. I want to acknowledge that we are meeting on occupied native land and enjoy an economy built by enslaved, incarcerated, and undocumented labor. The people have never ceded the territory of our bodies and minds. Before the election, I had the honor to hear the artist Zoe Leonard read the text of her well-known Agiprop poster, I Want a Dyke for President. Just by a quick show of hands, how many people have heard or encountered this? Okay, great. Actually, it's great that actually some of you are gonna hear it for the, for the first time. Um, the original text was read um, by Leonard a couple times right before the election, and there's also a version of it uh, by uh, the queer rap artist, Mickey Blanco, um, available online. Um, and I evoke Mickey Blanco at my own peril because my version is not going to be anywhere near as amazing. Um, but a project called I Want a President DC, which is available at IWantAPresidentDC.com, was also inspired to take Leonard's text and use it in workshops to rewrite it around contemporary issues. It's been almost a generation since it was first composed. Um, and I was inspired by this sort of open source, collaborative, and accessible tool for starting conversations, giving voice, and fighting fear. Although I was not a part of any of these workshops and I'm not a representative of any organization, I was inspired to read one of these workshop versions um, pr produced at the Corcoran School of Arts uh, by uh, a group uh, including Ali Sengel, Justin Plakas, Maria Del Carmen Montoya, Liz Thompson, and Joe Madura. I'd like to read uh, this version uh, because as Frederick Douglass says, power concedes nothing without a demand, it never has and it never will. I want to honor the demands of these young voices, black, brown, queer, feminist, and undocumented. I want a wet back for president. I want a dyke with AIDS for vice president, and I want someone with no health insurance, and I want someone who walked hundreds of miles across a desert and swam across a river to be here. I want a president who took control of their reproductive choices, and I want a candidate who isn't the lesser of two evils, and I want a president whose father was killed by a police officer who had to listen to the official story of why that was okay who still hears those words every time they are told justice will be served. I want a president with no papers, a president who has resisted dictatorships, subhuman conditions, and their need to justify the, their right to live where and as they please. I want someone who has spent the night in jail and had an unprepared public defender and survived rape. I want someone who has been in love and been hurt, who practices non-monogamy, who has walked away from abuse and never looked back. I want a Native American for president. I want someone with bad teeth and an attitude, someone who has eaten only from the trash, someone who cross-dresses and has done drugs and been in therapy for years without progress. I want someone who has spoke out insistently for his or her rights but was accused every time for civil disobedience. And I want to know why this is impossible. I want to know who decided, in what room, that a president is always a decoy, always a bully and never a healer, always a boss and never a worker, always a liar, always a thief and never caught. Thank you.